And now we have another jetpack level. Alright. Oh, jeez. Alright, I want to make sure I don't miss any boxes here. So, let's go back. Just to be safe. Alright. Yeah, because this one in the Seas Brain run, I remember missing, like, some boxes, like, countless times. Um, and it was just really stupid. <laughs> they aren't there even that hidden. It's just the fact that sometimes you just forget to look somewhere. Sound of the spin just kind of went away. For some reason. Alright. Uh. Okay, that was a bit too close. Alright. Yeah, we're not going to get to 99 before we finish the game. I'd like to do that, but... Yeah. The only way we're going to do that is go back to previous levels. and Ain't nobody got time for that. So, Wait. yeah, there's not a lot I can say about these levels. I said most of what I need to say in this of this game, and we're coming up to the end. So, thankfully, these levels aren't too long, so you have to worry about putting up with a weird control setup for too long. So what is up with the... What the hell was that? That was so weird. Okay. My bad. Alright. So we've got that. Okay. This is a little bit tricky. But we did it! Come on, just go through. And hopefully we got everything. Yes? Uh, that's what I'm talking about. That's why this level can give, can get annoying. Okay, well, I'm going to go and try and get the gem off screen, I guess. Okay, now we got it. Oh, man. Yeah. Now for the final love of the get of the game. All right. So it's another one of the space station time types of levels, and going back to what I said about the whole like in the whole thing with engine and all that. Um, I guess one conflicting thing about my theory or whatever would be the fact that one of the levels isn't in the space station here and I guess that would uh, be a good enough reason for um, engine not for engine not to, to kill crash or something maybe he was just like I don't know maybe <laughs> engine was secretly jealous that um, cortex was Letting Crash do all this stuff while Engine was just kind of twiddling, twiddling his thumbs. Uh, it's a possibility, but I kind of doubt that. <laughs> but yeah, this is a interesting little uh, type of secret gem path that's uh, used to get. They, I don't know if they use it in Crash Four, but they definitely use it in Crash Three again. It's basically just the ultimate platforming challenge with all the colored gems needing needed to be able to get through all of it. And I think it's a nice little, uh, I get not necessarily a reward because it's a one of the hardest platforming challenges, but I don't know, I think it's a nice little uh, bonus in a sense. Because you, you, you got all these colored gems and you 
you're, I guess, rewarded in a sort, kind of rewarded in a sense for getting all of them. And yeah, that's all you, that's all the purple gem is used for. Just that one platform to get the gem. <laughs> Which is a little, kind of funny, but yeah. At least it's used for something. But yeah, the, the reason why I keep killing myself when I get a gem or something like that, it's mainly to speed things up because if we go through that area, that area there, we would have finished, we would have went through the level, like went through a warp, a warp essentially, and then we'd have to go back and e e enter the level again to get the, the other collectibles. So it's just, it's just a lot quicker and it's just a lot quicker to just kill yourself, really. Not in real life, though. Don't trail out at home. Because seriously, we don't want more... Uh, we don't want some, like, emo, emo kids or teenagers running around. Or more than we do. More than we uh, already have. If that makes sense. I, I'm bad at <laughs> wording things sometimes, as you'd probably know by now. All right. Ugh. All right. We don't have to worry about doing any other crazy, a any crazy objectives or anything now. We just had to not die like that. Uh, thankfully, the checkpoint was right there, so. Alright. Yeah! <laughs> I like how the screaming is just interrupted. Like, it's a bit. Like, creepy, in a sense. But yeah. Okay. Alright, so final bonus, let's do this. Okay, yeah, I thought so. Alright. I'm not gonna try that. I don't even think that's possible. Okay, I'm gonna jump up here. Oops. Yes. And. Ugh. Okay. One, two. This is gonna get ugly. Okay, I don't care about all those uh, Wumper Fruit. <laughs> the, that's basically asking for a death sentence. Alright. Oh! And, because I don't want to deal with it. Okay, I kind of failed that. Because <laughs> I got hit anyway. But, um... Yeah, I tried using the Z-axis to avoid it, to avoid that. I'm gonna try it now. Do I want to risk? Oh, wait, let's try it. Yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. But um, I guess one thing to bring up is that I like dying. I guess. But uh, oh come on, what was that? But one thing to bring up, I was way too fast on that that the um these little like mi uh what you call them shrink lasers shrink beams i i don't know it's basically the main plot of uh, one of the gba crash games um i just find that and i just kind of find that funny that they made a 
they uh, basically made an entire plot of a crash game based on one, uh, what was it? One obstacle in these levels. I've never actually played the uh, GBA crash game, so I'm, I don't know too much about them, but they looked like decent enough 2D platformers. Like, nothing, like, crazy, um, groundbreaking or anything, but they look like decent enough games. And final crash dance. Yeah. You know, you want me to bring Crystal from Star Fox, so you know, I'll just play Star Fox Adventures, I guess. <laughs> Even though a lot of people hate that game. I can't really I can't really comment because I haven't played it played it yet. But yeah. <laughs> Either way though, there's really a not to this boss. Basically, you're on a jetpack. He doesn't try to attack you himself. There's actually nothing that can kill you in this boss. Um, basically, what you want to do is just go reach out to him, and so you're basically so at some point you'll be close closer to him, and that's when you want to strike. Nothing again. Nothing here can kill you. Not even the mines. And you can s spin everything out of the way. So they do, all they do is just slow you down. And the only way to lose is for Cortex to escape, pretty much, so just beat him in time. That's all there is to it. And he's done. Yeah. It's not really satisfying. And that's it. But we did get the gem, so it's not over just yet. And hi, Crab from Crash 1. Yep. <laughs> yeah, now all credits are gonna play, but like Crash, uh, Crash One, we're gonna have two sets of credits, and yeah, I don't think I wanna put you guys through two sets of credits. So I'm gonna, ju I'm just gonna cut right back to the warp room. So I'll, yeah, I'll just see you guys there. Alright, and we're back here, and the uh, embryo is offering us to destroy the Cortex Vortex, and yeah, once you get the, uh, once you defeat Cortex, it just automatically boots you up to 100%, so, well, uh, provided you get everything, 
O oops. Oh, I may as well show it off. Just hold triangle. And then we went go back to the engine fight. Yep. Okay. Just, just wanted to show that. Show that you can do that. <laughs> Look at his face, man. Alright. Anyways, though. Let's go back up. So, yeah. If you want to get to the secret ending, just push up like normal. If you want to fight Cortex again, press hold triangle. So, yeah. And we're pretty much on the secret warp room, so I guess it can be called warp room six. Would you like to do the And there we go. And that's it. And now the game's done for good. So, um, just to wrap up some final thoughts here. Um, I really enjoy this game. It's I played this game a lot later, as I said, and it was kind of weird for me. Um, like, that I, I, I don't know, like, it's kind of weird that I didn't play this game for so long. Um, and... It's definitely, it's definitely a massive improvement over Crash 1, like there's the control, just everything with the controls is a thousand times better than Crash 1. Uh, I like that they, how they handled the bonuses in this game. Um, the uh, difficulty, ba the difficulty was a lot better balanced overall and there weren't too many bullcrap parts of the game. Like there's parts that I don't like too much. Um, but it doesn't ever really come to the, the point of like being as bad as like Crash 1's saving system or cr uh, gem system uh, at any point. Like, there's times when it kind of becomes annoying, like Cold Hard Crash, for instance, but I don't think it's, it ever becomes like Crash 1 gem bad, uh, gem system bad or anything like that. Um, I like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing, Cortex, because we kind of just kicked your rear badly. But, um, yeah, overall massive improvement over Crash 1. Uh, really replayable, easy to get into, and it's, I can understand why people would want to play, would prefer this over 3 because of the consistency with the platforming, whereas Crash 3 had a lot of uh, vehicle gimmicks, I guess you could say. And personally, I don't mind that. I think the the uh, quote unquote gimmicks in Crash Free are mostly really well done, and I enjoy playing them. Um, but yeah, Crash Two, really enjoyable game, easy to uh, get into. And if you if you're gonna wanna if you want a hundred one hundred percent in this game. You're going to be in for a pretty good challenge, a reasonable challenge this time around because Crash 1 mainly it was mainly a challenge just because of the just because of how it worked. Crash 2 is a mostly a uh, legitimate challenge and yeah. I it's definitely one of the uh, one of the better sequels uh, to a game. So that just on the way it improves on the things in Crash 1. But, um, yeah, with that said, hope you guys enjoyed the Crash 2 playthrough, and I'll see you guys next time for whatever I have in store next, and for the uh, eventual Crash 3 playthrough. So, I'll see you guys, see you guys then. Peace out.